इश्क सोफियाना मेरा इश्क सोफियाना मेरा इश्क सोफियाना तेरे वास्ते doing it fabulously with my you are, you are you're marketing the your logos that you will create a rainbow filter we don't need that we need you to walk the talk and be good allies oh my god it's raining my hair is going to get affected to chata khol dena behan i'm here to fall in my way cuz god makes no mistakes i'm on the right track baby i was born this way Hello and welcome to Influence Arta. This is Karna. Our guest today wears many hats, really beautiful and brightly colored ones too. We have with us Sushant Devgekar, aka Rani Kohinoor. They are they are an LGBTQIA plus activist, a psychologist, one of the most beloved drag queens in the world, and an amazing singer. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sushant. Thank you, thank you so much, Karna. Thank you for having me. It's uh, it's an absolute pleasure. So it's Pride Month, and there's a lot of rainbow washing on social media, right? And brands also launched limited edition merchandise. So how do you feel about that? But and uh, how do you think brands can be true allies instead and move from this tokenism? So I really believe that these people who pink wash and you know rainbow wash should really go and see the ground level work that people are doing. And you know, if you're not part of that change and that revolution, then you please take your marketing strategies and sit on it because we are not interested. We don't need you to say that you know suddenly, um, you know, in your on your uh, your marketing uh, your logos that you will create a rainbow filter. We don't need that. We need you to walk the talk and be good allies. Give respect. <laughs> Treat people. with uh, you know respect and give them equal playing grounds equity in at the workplace equality in payments all of that will make sure that you're a good ally and then you can put like a rainbow filter and stuff but just like putting a rainbow filter and saying that we are oh give us your money give us your business we are putting one rainbow filter i don't want to buy all this shit so many organization hire one for your person and make them the face of inclusivity at their organization yeah. right <laughs> so if you were a chief equity officer how would you go about it how would you help your organization move away from tokenism and bring real change first of all i would fire all these people <laughs> okay yeah. and uh, yeah because i honestly if i was if because my um, specialization uh, in my masters program was in organizational behavior development hr policies and all of that so human resources so i honestly <laughs> that's my degree so i if i was in a workplace setting all of these people would have been fired so so that you know so i but but i would just basically tell them that you know when you are uh, interviewing somebody to uh, you know get them into your company to welcome them into your company firstly you can't uh, you can't see their gender caste religion and all of these things all you need to see is their educational qualifications and their on ground qualifications and work that they've done that will be an asset to the company why are you going to see whether this person is gay or straight because at the end of the day our common goal as employees now if i am part of an organization or if i head it or if it's my organization or even if i'm an employee there my common my goal will be common to yours as a as a fact as a function of being part of the same damn organization so why would i hire somebody that is heterosexual but is not as qualified as this person for the same job but is transgender who is transgender so it really doesn't make sense and and for all these people who are you know who, who celebrate tokenism and say that humne humne ek transgender person ko kaam naukri di hai ye hai wo hai aur hum unko face banayenge diversity aur dni ka hamare dni ke uh your department ka i would just like to tell them that um there are a lot of people who have been in these positions where they have been um you know taken in into organizations and bahar wo dikhate hain ki you know oh no we are being very, very inclusive we have a transgender we have one transgender employee uh but you know when you speak to that one transgender employee 
you will see that they go through so much workplace harassment so just by recruiting a transgender employee you are not doing nobody a favor you are supposed to create equal uh, policies that are equal for male female and transgender people and non binary people and people who are black white pink rainbow whatever you are supposed to create umbrella policies which take care of all your members uh, all your employees so i would just like to tell these organizations that aap you're doing nobody a favor and you're doing yourself a lot of disservice by painting a picture of what you are not to the hmm. to the larger audiences and i think that you know you can't as i said that you know you can't push so many things under the carpet sometime or the other you know your reality will come to the fore and then that will actually be more harmful than doing good to you homophobia is not even a reality you're basically being an ass if you are if you are being disrespectful to a community so i think that uh, you know this whole notion of oh i'm homophobic but you know i'm fine but i mean i don't get it but no it's it's stupid if you don't get something that's that it's this basic and that's like respect on the human for their choices you can respect them from afar but you can't just say that oh i don't understand i don't care i don't respect it no that's crazy and how can people generalize so for me i wanted to change all these notions that you know i might have born uh, i might have been born a male at birth but that's not the gender i chose and i can because gender is a construct it's a social construct that is created by people uh, you know a man should do this a female should do this you know a man should not cook a man should not clean uh, you know that's that's what a woman should do in the four walls these are all things are you serious where in 2021 everybody deserves an equal playing ground and therefore through drag i wanted to make uh, people understand that you know there are also intersectionalities in gender so i want people to understand that there is not only male and there is not only female and art has no gender a song that i would like to dedicate to rani is uh, for rani that explains rani and her her journey as an artist is born this way and uh, there is a verse over there Don't be a drag, just be a queen. Don't be a drag, just be a queen. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's it's a beautiful. I'm beautiful in my way, 'cause God makes no mistakes. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. And there's this part where it's like it's a fast, uh, fast. No matter gay, straight or bi, let's be a transgender life. I'm on the right track. Baby, I was born to survive. Ooh, there ain't no other way. Baby, I was born this way. Baby, I was born this way. And this, uh, uh, this basically applies to everybody, you know, because you're born this way, you know, and 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 you have to celebrate yourself. And <laughs> oh my God, you're amazing. Uh, last question: What is your message to budding drag queens and kings and artists? I you know I just want to tell everybody that's watching this and every uh, young and aspiring artist whether you're drag uh, whether you're a drag artist or whether you're a singer dancer comedian content creator I would just like to tell you that do what you want to do with all your heart and all your conviction because when you put your heart and soul into anything it is for sure going to end up being a masterpiece so don't listen to people that are putting you down and of course there if if you ask for critique and if somebody gives you constructive criticism then it is again still your choice to take it or not but if you ask for mm-hmm. it and then you know you know then you'll get it but the thing you'll get an opinion but that opinion should not be the narrative of your reality that can be an opinion but your reality you have to write so through your content or through the you know through the pureness and authenticity of your content just go ahead and just take the plunge and fly just fly the world is such a big place don't restrict yourself travel once things open up and stuff travel meet new people meet new people from diff- understand different cultures and amalgamate your culture with theirs and you know you create magic all of you mm-hmm. will create magic we are you know, we have that in us so all the best with that to everybody and uh, yeah